The Alpaca controller doesn't have a secondary thumbstick, but instead features very advanced gyro controls. We tested many sensors until we found the best one for gyro aiming and then we put two of them in the controller. Which gives the Alpaca a never seen before gyro performance with no smoothing, no acceleration and ultra low latency. The gyro is enabled only when our finger is touching the hexagonal touch sensitive surface and then by turning the controller we are basically using a mouse. But if we lift the finger, the gyro is disabled and turning the controller does nothing. This way we can go back to a natural position if needed, which is the same we do with a normal mouse when reaching the border of the mat. Eventually we will do this very fast without even thinking about it. The alpaca gyro sensors are so accurate that it's possible to do very small pixel-by-pixel -pixel movements. While it is also capable of doing large movements with no acceleration, which is very good for building muscle memory. When using the gyro, don't hold the alpaca mid-air or it will feel very floaty. Instead, use your legs or table or any other surface to support your hands. Even though the alpaca is a beast in competitive games, it takes some time to get familiar with gyro controls, so it's a good idea to practice a bit with aim trainer apps, or maybe chilling with a city builder or similar. Or playing a game you are familiar with, single player or cooperative. And yeah, after a few hours it will feel very natural similar to aiming a weapon in VR. <laughs>